Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my July favorites. As far as I'm concerned, it's already fall. Like I have my little button up, my fall button up shirt on and my little fucking it's fall hat on. I look like I'm from the children of the corn and it is, it's fall in my books. I don't care if it's August, it's fall. I have a lot of favorites. I almost wanted to divide this up into my beauty favorites and non-beauty favorites, but we're just gonna combine it. So this might be a long video, so go get yourself a cocktail or something. My first favorite is this. This is the Olay Regenerous Luminous. This is an overnight mask. It's a gel moisturizer. I've never actually had a moisturizer or any gel mask that I've actually looked forward to putting on in the evening. Like when I'm about to go to bed and I just slather this on my face and I just lay there and like watch or listen to my little ASMR videos and I just I love this. It just I can feel it absorbing into my skin and I actually noticed that my skin isn't as dry like someone actually said to me yesterday wow your skin doesn't look too dry I would never have guessed that your skin is dry so I think this stuff because I haven't been putting anything else on my skin and I've literally like used almost like like under no wait like I've used over a third of it so it's like almost half gone but not quite I love this stuff it just has like a clean scent to it I'm into it I'm into it and it has helped my skin Let's talk about lashes. I've been obsessed with really fancy lashes lately, you guys, and I don't know why. I also bought like a huge order of like the Wicked Lashes from NYX online. I literally think I bought like 17 pairs, but let's talk about these. Okay, I had a pair of the Velour Lashes I mentioned I think last month in my favorites, and then I wore them out, and then I took them off before I passed out, and then I put them in a tissue and in my bra, and it completely squished them and ruined them, and I so regret that. But I had to go buy a new pair, and I haven't wore these ones yet, but I just wanted to mention that I'm literally in love with these. And if you have 26 extra dollars, go get yourself a pair, because they are so pretty. It's, oh, I just love them. And then the Alex Faction Lashes, what? The Alex Faction Lashes? Alex, you did such a good job on these, and I am so in love with them. These ones look bunk because I've literally wore them probably, probably 12 times. I'll like try and make them look semi-decent so I can show you guys. Oh no, it just, they look just this messed up right here. I can't find my other container of them though. Like I don't know where my other one went, but these lashes are gorgeous. I think they're just like a limited edition type of thing. If you guys want to invest in a great pair of lashes, these ones are beautiful. I'll link them down below. And speaking of lashes, I'm not the biggest fan of duo lash glue. Like, there's better lash glues out there. Like, I like my Salon Perfect one. The thing is, I love my Salon Perfect one for my eyelashes because I put my, I do everything on myself differently than I do it on other people. I don't know why, it's just how it happens. But this lash glue has changed my life. It, it almost looks like blue, like iridescent, like blue or something. This is the Duo Brush on Adhesive with Vitamins. I don't know why you need vitamins on your lash line, but whatevs. I like this because when I put it on my like my strip of my lash, I don't have to really wait for it to get tacky. I could just put it on my eyeball, and the glue almost doesn't actually ever dry. Like it's always tacky, and I find that like if like it's I think it's dry, I can like pat my lash line, and it's like still a little tacky there. So I go in and like either like set that with a, like a powder. But what I'm saying is, because it's always tacky, if it's lifting anywhere, I can literally just like reattach it because it's still tacky, and it's just perfect. I, am I explaining this right? I think you have to try it to understand. It's just that lash line, it's always just tacky. It's dry, it's sealed onto your eye, but it's just tacky still, so you can just like fix it real nice. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I gotta mention this thing. I just purchased this, I think like over, just over a week ago. This is the Tokyo Milk Dark. It's a lip elixir, and it is in salted caramel. And I smelt this in Sephora, and it smelled like pancakes in Sephora. It's just like a lip balm. The container is kind of hard to get open, but I think that's like a universally like, yep, they just are hard to open kind of thing. I just keep the sticker on there. Ding, ding. Um, it smells more like salted caramel outside of Sephora, but it still kind of smells like pancakes. Like in Sephora, it like legit smells like pancakes, and in here, it still kind of does. Oh gosh, it smells so good. If you want a lip balm that's going to moisturize your lips and just like smells great, this is awesome. I don't like like sweet or like vanilla-y or like rich like cakey kind of scents but this smells like a pancake and I can get down with it like you know when you like pour syrup like over like sausages or like eggs oh this just reminds me of breakfast I could eat breakfast food all day long 
I am so stoked for this item. Okay, this is a Sephora, what is this? And I think, it, yeah, just like a blush, but it's called Sculptor Contour Long, it's a long lasting sculptor, I don't know, it's in Tranquil number 26. Look at this shade. Just, it's the perfect, like, cool tone. It's like borderline gray, and I loved contour with it. It's just my favorite thing. It's called Tranquil, like I already said, and if you are a pale girl like myself, go pick this up because contouring with this it's just a game changer it's almost like the nyx blush and tote but we all know i can't get my hands on that so this one is awesome i think it was only like 19 dollars as well which is not bad and it's just so smooth it blends out beautifully girls i think and guys i think i found my new favorite like product to contour with Speaking of contouring, I also, I'm always trying new contouring kits and whatever. This one is actually by Aesthetica Cosmetics. It's a contour kit. I really like this. It has removable little pans here so you can like customize it to whatever you're wanting. It has a nice variety of shades. I've mostly only used this one. I've dipped into the yellow one a little bit, but the thing with the yellow tone powder on me is I look hella yellow. This thing did come with like a whole bunch of instructions so if you're new to contouring and you're wanting to get a kit, I know everyone's wild about these contouring kits, these marketing kits. Um, if so if you're wanting a kit because you don't have a matte whatever, um, this is awesome because it like has instructions of literally everything in it. And it's cruelty free as well. I've fallen in love with a new powder. It is the Too Faced Prime and Poreless Powder. I love this. It's a skin smoothing priming powder and finishing veil. I cannot say enough great things about this. I'm actually wearing it underneath my eyes today. I love setting underneath my eyes with it and then just like dusting it all over on top of my foundation. I have it in the loose like version of it. It also comes in pressed. I just find that this like smooths out any lines and pores on my face and just creates like almost like it's like makes me look like I'm like super HD and just ready for the film but like in person, you know what I mean? Because in person you can't really wear an HD powder because it like looks white, you know what I mean? This thing, it just makes my skin look flawless and I'm I'm into it. So if you're looking for an awesome setting powder that's just like your everyday kind of setting powder just to lock your foundation in place, this one's great. And I don't find that this one like cakes up anywhere and like you sometimes like around my nose it'll get like, oh like what's going on over there? Like it's super dry. This one doesn't really do it because it just kind of like blurs everything. What was this? I don't know. You guys know I love my NYX, the Studio Collection Noir Black Liquid Liner, but I have been introduced to the NYX Matte Liquid Liner this month, and I'm in love. You don't realize how nice it is to have a matte liquid eyeliner until you have a matte liquid eyeliner. This one is gorgeous, because sometimes your eyeliner can be reflective and then it doesn't look right, but when it's matte, it just looks so good, and I love this one. I, this is this is a new favorite of mine, and I think this is going to be, I love this, just forever. Brandon, stop texting me. Let's discuss what is on my lips today. I'm wearing the new Kat Von D. This is in the shade Exorcism. I'm not the biggest fan of the formulation of these just because after a couple of hours, like, it starts to deteriorate right where, like, this, like, the membranes clash in my mouth. Um, that's why I'm not, like, the biggest fan, but I love this color. I own three of her lipsticks now, uh, four of her lipsticks now, so, I mean, I must like something about them, mostly the color range and the accessibility, like I don't have to order online and I think that's what I like about it. I can just go into Sephora and there they are. She just released like 16 new shades and they're all gorgeous. I just want them all. Um, stop texting me, Brent. I'm super into this one. I think it's going to be my new like fall favorite. It's literally, it's August 2nd. It's the third actually and I'm talking about it being fall, but it's fall in my books. Literally, it's just, just fall. I love this color. What do you guys think? Do you like it? I've gotten tons of questions on Instagram what this shade is that I've been wearing on my lips. I'm just into it. Let's talk about some henna. I've been a huge fan of henna lately. I've been like teaching myself how to do it. I actually got my hands on this like Jagua kit. What I understand Jagua is is like a fruit something and it's like made from like fruit extracts. I don't really know. I could be completely wrong. This is what I think. Correct me down below because I know you guys will. So this is the Fresh Jagua Ink Gel. It's a temporary tattoo kit. Yeah, okay, the first ingredient is 
Genipa Americana fruit juice. This thing came with a bunch of stuff, but the main thing that I actually use out of it is the actual ink. It comes in like a cute little tube like this. You're supposed to keep it in the freezer or fridge when you're not using it, obviously, or else it'll go bad. Also comes with a whole bunch of different like tip sizes, which I really enjoy. It did come with like these stencils. I actually put one on my leg just to like try it out and see the like the longevity of the wear of them. <laughs> <laughs> you can see I like actually used one. Um, I got another pack too and they have like cuter stencils but it's in my freezer right now. So I have had this on for, this is my third week having this on and it lasts forever. And I get non-stop questions about what this is because it looks, it literally looks like a real tattoo. Like this is like janky because I need to redo it um, because it's been on my hand for three weeks which is, which is an exceptionally long time. But it looks like a real tattoo and I've gotten like, oh my god, your tattoo looks so cool. And they actually think that it's a real tattoo this kit came with like so many instructions and everything so if you're new to this like it's gonna be so easy for you like it literally shows every single step to it and then here there's like more of a detailed like step by step on what to do I know Hannah's like blowing up and everyone wants to do it so this is what I use right now so if you guys want to check it out and maybe get into it you know do a little design this stuff is awesome I love it let's talk about another thing on my hands I have been doing my own like shellac nails lately my nails are this just isn't a good time to film I feel like <laughs> my my like jag was like rubbing off my nails are all like kind of chipped and funky but I've been doing my own gel nails just because I had like my like I'm doing like shellac myself or whatever just like the not like extension whatever um I took my like tips off just because I function better like this I prefer it like this I feel so girly uh and like womanly when I have nails on but this is this is more functional for my lifestyle so I went and got a couple things here so the first thing I'm going to talk about is the actual polish that I put on my nails I just got this at Sally's Beauty Supply it was so cheap too they were having like a sale where you bought one and then you got the top coat for free I actually only just got two colors because I really only put ever two colors on my nails I put like a nude pink kind of shade and then black on my nails that's it I'm not fussy and what this stuff is is actually it's called gel Lays. it's by China glaze and this stuff the color that I got is a gel and base in one so you don't need a base you just put this on it it's kind of like done deal um, and then I also got the top coat I actually got it for free so I don't know if Sally's will still have this deal on but buy one and get the top coat for free this stuff's great you just got to make sure you shake it really well first um, and then it's easy to apply and it just cures beautifully the lamp that I actually use is this one I just have like the cord like shoved inside right now it's by Melody Susie it has settings for 30 minutes 90 seconds 60 seconds and 30 seconds I usually just cure my nails for um, 90 seconds like I'll paint them once 90 seconds and then rinse and repeat you know what I'm saying this is a 12 watt LED light gel nail dryer it's the violet series I really like this light I like that it's black as well it cures my nails and I've had no issues with it um, you can buy this online on Amazon I'll put the link down below if you want it let's talk about some sunglasses shall we I have gotten non-stop questions about these shades on my Instagram I love these I went on like a little bit of a sunglass like rampage I was like I need some new shades I where I broke or lost my big like my fake Prada ones I don't know where where when did I do that I think when I went to Vancouver sometime I broke them I don't know whatever uh so I really like these one it has like this like cool little like detail thing here I just feel like I'm super badass and everyone's wondering what's going on right here and then another pair that I absolutely love are these ones I don't know if they actually look good on me or if I just think that they are cool um, just because they're blue and they match my hair and like everything that I love about my life I feel like I look kind of funny with them on like I don't know what do you guys think do you think I could get away with this I feel like with this hat I could get away with it but I feel like if I didn't have the hat on I just just Willy Wonka right now like are you kidding me whoa <laughs> whoa <laughs> well okay <laughs> Ooh. all right I have been digging these sunglasses so if you guys want some cheap affordable like sturdy like good quality sunglasses yeah I'll put a link down below so you can go grab some I have a couple more things I know this has been a long video but I just have a lot of things to share with you guys this month okay so I mentioned a couple months ago that I was gonna like tell you my favorite like scentsy scents and then I forgot to do that for like two videos but this scent has been dry okay this is my scentsy warmer back here this little I think it's called Bali 
I believe it's called. It's just like a head. Um, this scent, it's called Vanilla Suede, and I, I have one left because I'm savoring it until I really want to use it. It smells so good. It's like kind of manly, but it's just, I don't know. It's delicious. Um, I like like very like almost like rustic scents. Like, I don't really know the name of them. I'm not like a fragrance connoisseur, but this smells so good. It's like the opposite of floral. It's just woodsy and musky and oh I love that and speaking of like kind of woodsy and musky scents this candle this is called grapefruit ori oleander 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 o-l-e-a-n-d-e-r oleander i don't know it's by illum it's poured in the u.s it's a soy candle it smells so freaking good it's like kind of a little like there's a drop of like grapefruit like citrus in there but then it's just like woodsy and like deep and like warm ooh, ooh, this smells really good and i love the little detail of it it almost looks like a birch tree but it's like splattered with like oh it's gorgeous thanks chloe for that and lastly i have two little book items here i'll talk about this first can we just case my friend casey got this for me for my birthday this is artists and their cats is this not just right up my alley if you don't know i have a degree in art history and i love cats Duh. um so this is so funny it's just like literally like photos of artists with their cats let me find an artist that probably everyone will know of. Here we go, Andy Warhol. Um, so it's just like a picture of Andy Warhol and his cat, and then just like a write-up about like, kind of about him, but then mostly about like the cat, and it's so funny. I freaking love this book. Who's another more popular? Frida Kahlo, here we go. There, people will know this artist too, there you go. More like a mainstream, like kind of like household name for you, just like, so cute. Who else? Oh, Gustav Klimt. He's one of my favorite artists. Just like with a cat. This guy's a little bit of a weirdo, but look at this kitty. Oh, here's John Lennon. Just like look at the little kitty. And lastly, a planner. I got this at Chap Indigo Chapters. Aren't they the exact same thing? I'm not too sure. I got a new day planner. This one actually started this month, which I'm really excited about. I got this bright florally one because I was like, that's so fun and bright. It's just so not like me, but just like a nice juxtaposition here. But I feel like I really like this. I like the floral and it's so bright. And there's some black in there. Don't you worry. I have been completely slacking with my videos lately. And I do apologize for that. I've just been, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, anyway, I got a day planner because I'm going to write in and schedule myself to film and edit, and if I don't do it, I'm going to not be able to pet baby for a couple minutes. It comes with stickers, which I'm really excited about. I also ordered more stickers online. I'm not really, like, a huge fan of that Erin Condren planner, just because I haven't seen one in real life, but it just looks so big, and this one's nice and small. I don't like anything too bulky. I just like the layout of this. Like, I'm not a very, like, fancy pants person. I'm just kind of, like, straightforward, and having, like, a week over open like this where I can like visually see it all I really like that and throughout here it has like cute little like whatever it's kind of like super girly and I'm kind of into it like look it's just like girly 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 yeah like look at this calf on D lipstick already it's just like coming apart on my lips Mom. Okay guys, that is all of the things I wanted to share with you guys for the month of July. These are all my favorites, things I've been loving. I'm actually really excited for August. If you guys don't know, I am one of the top six people in the From A to LA contest. Whoa, I almost just messed that up. From A to LA contest. It was a contest that Next Canada was hosting and um, they, it was like a contest on Instagram. If you guys followed me along for that journey and voted for me, thank you guys so much. You can follow me on Instagram at Bailey Vanderveen if you don't already. I'm super excited because I get to go down to LA for the Face Awards and hang out with everybody. It's gonna be awesome. There are also five other Canadian beauty bloggers going down for the Face Awards and I'm super, super excited. I cannot wait. It's gonna be like around the 20, 22nd I believe the face awards are so I'm super excited maybe I'll get a tan last year I didn't get a tan and I was in LA for two weeks I think it'll be good though like I'm going down there not as a top six face award contestant and I was so stressed last year I'm just going to like see it all and like I was so like excited last year and I am so excited for this year's contestants I can't wait I can't wait 
for the winner to win and just like they're gonna cry it's gonna it's gonna be good I don't know why I'm saying it's gonna be good but it's gonna be good anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one Thank <laughs> you.